Hey, I'm Callum Bagshaw for Resilient Studios and today I'm interviewing Samuel from the ALS firm. I'm going to ask you some questions based on my final products that you've seen now. You've seen the trailer and posts and such. Yes, yes. So, I'll start with the trailer questions. Do you think the trailer follows real typical horror conventions? Yes, yes, I do think it does. Yeah. Now, what do you think is the most attractive element of the trailer? I think that it's... It, it really invites you to sit down and be terrified. You, you know what to expect, but at the same time, it, it still shows that it, the film has ways to scare you. So, do you think sound, lighting, editing, or pacing? Uh, I think that the, the editing, it shows that it just, it, it, it shows that really nicely, you know, cut. Mm, quick cuts. Then. Yeah, quick cuts in film. Mm, all right. Now, by watching the trailer, which subgenre do you think it most relates to? Slasher, zombie, vampire, supernatural, or J-horror? Vampire. Now, does the trailer inspire you to watch a movie? A movie, sorry. Um, not really. No, personally. Right. Do you think our trailer gives too much information away? No, no, it, it gives the right amount of information. Um, it, it teases you to think that you know everything, but at the same time, it sort of hints that there is some stuff that you don't know, and that's why you should watch the film, because that stuff may be important. Do you think the captions used in the trailer are effective? Very, very effective, yes. Do you find the narrative to be portrayed well? Um... I'd need to see the whole film to be absolutely sure, but from what I've seen, yes, yes, I do think that. Do you think the sound effects used in the trailer helps to build the tension? Oh yeah, definitely. Do you think the pace in the trailer helps to build the tension? Yes, yes, builds up and up, and that's yeah, that. That is good. Now, do you find this trailer truly terrifying? Certainly, bits of it terrified me. Uh, yes, yes, there are bits of the trailer that certainly terrified me. Excellent. We'll now move on to the poster questions. Now, by looking at the poster, mm. which subgenre do you think it most relates to? Slasher, zombie, vampire, supernatural, or J horror? Uh, vampire. Do you think the typography goes well with the poster? Yes, yes, it does. It, 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 it gives the right feeling that the poster is obviously trying to give. Excellent. Do you think the tagline, a sweet tooth for revenge, is effective for the poster in synopsis? Uh, yes, yes. It, 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 will make, it will make those who can work it out laugh, but also it also gives it a small tease towards the rest of the film in one line, which is what it's meant to do. So it, yes, it does it very well. Do you think the colour scheme goes well with the poster? Yes, yes. As I say, it, it helps to create that feel. It doesn't look out of place. Excellent. When you look at the poster, what convention captures your eye first? The main image, film title, tagline, or a wall confuse? Uh, the, the main image is the first thing I really look at. Mm. Do you find the text easy to read? Yes, yes. Does the poster inspire you to watch the movie? Personally, no, but I can see how it would. Do you think the pose in the image works well for the poster? Definitely, yes. Do you think the poster represents real horror conventions? To my knowledge, yes. Um, I, I don't see how it doesn't, but uh, it, it may not. I'm not an expert on that. Do you notice any continuity between the poster and the trailer? Definitely, yes. Excellent. Final ten questions, moving on to the magazine. Mm -hmm. What aspect do you most prefer from this horror magazine? Masthead, main image, selling line or cover lines? Um, what do you mean by prefer? Like, which... Do you think is your favourite? Do you think the masthead is the best? Do you think the main image? Main image is probably the best. Okay. Do you think this chosen typography is effective? Yes, definitely. Would you pay one pounds ninety nine for this horror magazine? Personally, no, but it is a good price. 
By looking at the magazine, what subgenre do you think it most relates to? Slasher, zombie, vampire, supernatural, or J horror? Zombie or vampire, going by the title. Does the magazine inspire you to watch the movie? No. Do you think the colour scheme goes well with the magazine? Yes, yes it does. It's, it's the right combination. Do you think that NVC in the image works well for the magazine? What NVC? Non-verbal communication. Uh, yes, yes it does. It, 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 it shout, it, the, 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 the magazine cover shouts out a lot more than what the words are saying. So yes. Do you think the magazine represents real horror conventions? Um, yes. Yeah, it, it, well, it's scaring me, so that, that, that's got to be a good sign. Do you find the text easy to read? Most of it. But there are bits of it which at a distance you'd struggle, but I suspect the point is to, to pull you in and then you read the little text. So but on that grounds, yes. Final question. Do you think the behind the scenes exclusive footage was effective for the magazine? What do you mean by effective? Um, like, does it bring some major um, effects to the magazine? Like, is it. Does um, it increase the appeal? Yes. Uh, yes, it would increase the appeal, yeah. Okay. That concludes our interview. Thank you, Samuel. No um, problem. Okay. Thank you.